it's Trina. Welcome to the Twisted Sisters video hop for May. Um, this is our new catalogue that's just been released and we have some brand new products to play with and as the Twisted Sisters we try to take new products, twist them around away from the obvious use and show you other ways to stretch them and use them um, perhaps something that you hadn't thought of. And so um, out of the new catalogue, I've chosen this cute little stamp set and it comes with the thin cuts, which I've got here. So this is called Desserts a la Whirl. And you can see there's a cupcake, a coffee cup, you could use it for hot chocolate. Um, we've got an ice cream cone, a donut, and there's an awesome little addition here for the card front spinner. So I'm yet to try that out, but I thought I would take these um, thin cuts, I've cut them out in craft card stock, and I've taken the three um, elements, the ice cream cone, the cupcake, and the coffee cup, and I've cut them in craft because instead of using them as their intended purpose, I'm going to turn them into flower pots. Now to help me with that, I've also taken the Stitched Florals stamp set out of our core catalogue. So the catalogue that runs for the whole year is this one. And so this um, is available right up until the end of August. And it's a really cute stamp set and I've tried it many times. I didn't purchase the Thin Cuts um, because when it first came out I just wanted to get my hands on it and the thin cuts were not available so I've actually stamped and fussy cut by hand with my little scissors <laughs> a whole heap of flowers now the colors that I've used for this um, for the flowers on this card I've used canary I tried a little bit of lemonade some of my flowers are a little bit lighter because I tried lemonade and they weren't as heavy as I wanted so I switched to canary um, I've got clover and green apple for my leaves and then I've taken the beautiful grape and I've done second generation stamping where I ink up my stamp, stamp it with a true color and then before re-inking stamp it again and you get a softer lighter tone and that's the second generation of stamping. So that has given me two tones of flowers and then the other flowers I've done with raspberry with the same technique, stamped it once and um, the second time I get a very soft pretty pink. So those are the um, five colors that I've used to create the pieces for this card. And so in the stamp set, there's a single leaf. So I've done that in both the clover and the green apple. And then there's a little um, branch. Some of them I have just stamped single. And a couple of them I stamped two together so that it looks more like a little branch, um, like a, you know, a longer branch. So I've got some liquid adhesive, I love the Tombow uh, Multi, and I've got Shaker Window um, Foam because I love to use all these squares to pop up my elements. I've just created a basic slimline card, and this is just um, out of some cardstock that I had in my stash. Um, in New Zealand we can buy A4 card stock, so it's eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarter. And so I've just cut this down because it's a nice heavy card stock that I had sitting here in a pale blue colour. It's similar to the light side of our bluebell card stock that we have at the moment with CTMH, but I think it's a little bit lighter than bluebell. So I'm looking at my pots. I think I'll put the skinny one in the middle and these other ones off to the side. And um, you could make a little, you know, table or a ledge for them to sit on or just sit them towards the bottom here. I haven't made one and planned it or anything. I'm just sort of playing with it as I go. I think I want to have them a little bit higher. And I'm not even sure if these flowers are going to be a bit big, but hopefully they won't be. <laughs> so I'm just going to adhere these pots. I'm going to give myself a little bit of margin at the bottom. I'll just stick those into place. And I want to use the foam to lift some of my flowers just to give them a little bit of dimension. So I'll be using a mixture of the um, foam and the liquid adhesive to put my flowers on. Okay, so I've got lots and lots of flowers to choose from. I'll start with a nice um, 
grape one and I'm just going to start layering these up into a little pot of color I'm just deciding whether I mix them I think I will because they look so pretty together and so you've got all the top of that that you can use to um, you know hide your flowers I wanted a card that is just spilling over with lots and lots of flowers pretty color oops and might be a bit late for Mother's Day because we're getting pretty close now but you could make a beautiful Mother's Day card birthday cards any occasion card with these things so I'm just sticking a few down to build my base I think I'll tuck this in here so you can tuck them in and out of each other and then I'll put a few little lemony ones as well lemonade and canary just build it up and it might end up like a huge <laughs> huge lot of flowers everywhere okay now I want to start bringing in some leaves just to give a little bit of freshness so I'm going to tuck them in behind always um, get an alcohol marker and color them the, the way that you want I'm just going to check these black enamel dots and see how many I've got because that might be quite effective too so you could have a play actually I think I'm gonna go with the black enamel so I like to use my scissors to pick them up and then just put them onto my card hopefully they transfer the adhesive properly with them And I think I'm going to leave it at that. So I've got beautiful um, flowers spilling over the pots. So they no longer look like an ice cream, a coffee cup, and a cupcake. You've just got pretty pots. If you wanted to, you could just cut three of the same. So you've got three matching pots. But I thought I'd just try it and see how they look. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you get to try this out. And have some fun with the new stamp sets and thin cuts.